Maxwell, and this is the story of Something to Do With You. Take one. Something to Do With You came about by pure happenstance. In 2012, my buddy Christian invited me to a writing session that he was having with some friends that were in a cover band. Just to see what they had cooking up, I was like, sure, let's tag along. Upon entering what I assumed to be a pretty nondescript house, I was met immediately by the chords of a really laid back, bass heavy groove. Not wanting to do anything but impress this very serious group of musicians, I got to writing straight away. My process for writing songs that already have musical accompaniment usually involves listening to the music itself, determining what mood it's trying to convey, and really just locking in on that emotion. Once I'm locked into a mood or relative past experience, I tell a story that incorporates that mood and voila, the song is complete. In the case of something to do with you, it only took me about 15 minutes to write the first verse and the hook, and then from there, everything else sort of flowed. An hour later, Christian and I completed that song with a group of guys that only that morning were complete strangers. Strangely enough, three years after that, I became the lead singer of that very cover band, which has been my regular job for the past five years. The sentiment of this song is simple. We search the world, but more often than not, the things that really define our lives are right under our noses the whole time. The people, places, and things that get us to our highest heights, dig deep into our lowest moments, and bring us joys unimaginable are often not just something to do. Rather, from my experience, it's something to do with you. Check out my single, Something To Do With You, on SoundCloud now, and catch it as it begins streaming Friday, June 5th. I'm F. Swell. Big love to you and yours. Bye.